This is the mirror for the new bathroom. I made it out of four by four rough cut posts all the way around. Now what's, what's nice, what I really like about this mirror is the depth, the three dimensional depth. So I'm gonna bring this camera up here and you look at this. So when you look in this mirror, here's, here's the, see you're reflecting these beams, you're reflecting this. And you get a good three dimensional depth to this mirror that you don't normally get. Excuse the old man that's looking at you. I don't know who that is. I keep trying to find him. But at any rate, uh, and then like all the way around here, see this is, uh, this matches the three quarter inch posts on this accent wall. And then uh, three quarter inch casing around the window. This all matches. Was I drilled halfway through and then just ran a regular screw in and then these are just glued in you know just for show but it really creates a very nice look this is a bold enough piece that to put little screws in there wouldn't look right this bold mirror needed big bolt heads so anyway um as you can see it's rough heck it's even got a piece of a square nail in it right there but uh i think it turned out very nice so let's go out in the shop and let's build so what i'm going to do today is build a framework for a mirror Here's the mirror. This is going to be the frame. I've never done it before, so I guess we're going to learn together. This is just a good rough, it's, it's not really a beam, it's more of a post, but it's all rough cut out of, out of 1800's barn. So, I guess let's get started, let's figure this out. Okay, so let's see. The mirror is, let's call it 31 and a half by 23 and a half. 31 and a half so the the inside of this needs to be a half inch narrower than this so that that will set inside this. So I want the cut ends up and down. So, alright, so here would be, I mean, if you're looking at the top, there would be the top. And so, as far as the bottom, So this is going to go across the bottom. This will also route her out. But so I'll have the posts across the top and across here, and then this will be the bottom, and it'll be rounded and routed. We'll do that after a while. And in true fashion, I don't make plans. I don't draw anything out. So I'm, I'm going to go out and cut two here, 25 and 3 quarters. Let's see, so I went out and cut these, and they'll go on there like that. And something like that. And then, 
this board will go on like that. And that, that should work. Let's see. So, look like this. Let me see. I want it to hang over about a, an inch on each side or so. So if those are where they're supposed to be, roughly. And I want this board to be that's 37 and a half. I think I'll go 40. If I go 40, yeah, I think I want to go 40. I think I'll go 37. I'm going to go 39 and a half on this board. So I'll go cut it. Let me see how. Yeah, I think that'd be about right. I think that would be about right. All right. So this one then will set up there just like this. Hey, that'll work. And when I router that out inside there. That's going to be a heck of a case. The reason that I'm using these posts is because uh, the, these same size posts are going to go up the corners of the bathroom, across the top, the knee braces, and also I'm going to use this to case in the window so it'll all kind of tie in together. So this will work. Be nice not to break this this mirror, wouldn't it? So when you when you cut these ends, it's essential that those babies are cut off absolutely absolutely square. Otherwise, this thing's going to try to pitch and bend so those are cut off square. All right. I took, so I took the mirror out of here before I broke that. Um, Got the ends all nice and even. I'm going to put this on. I think what I'll first do is router that because I want to put a round edge on it. If you've seen my videos by now, you'll know I don't like square edges, especially with this old barn wood. See, like those nails right there? It's just a matter of time till you hit that wrong or something. It's just going to break it off. And that can happen anywhere. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is round the corner and then router the edge, put a nice rounded edge on that. And then I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to screw it right on there. That'll be nice. Quick. That'll put a pretty good little rounded edge on there.
Doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just want to knock that point off. Just like that. Okay, boy, that's gonna look nice. So, just once again, make sure I'm centered, and I am. So I'm gonna put. Okay, well, now for the moment of truth. So now I'm just going to put some, uh, put a couple screws in. They'll be below the surface to hold that in, and then uh, I guess go put it up on the wall. take much to hold it. There it is. So I think that is going to look okay. That is going to look okay. Got a lot of depth to it, you know, since you can see this back in there. So there it is. I, once I get it up on the wall, I'm going to polyurethane this edge. I think the only thing to do now is to take it in the house and uh, put it up.